glasses arrived in a chicken foot box. Okay, my glasses. Each one, two quai. 30 cents. Cool. Okay, this is my exposure unit. I've got my transparency for my screen. I still sit on my makeshift light box. Here I've got my screen, which will be coated and sit on here like this. And then, because I don't have a vacuum exposure unit, put this foam on the back and place some weights on top of it. For the exposure, I have some cheap UV lights that I got online here on Taobao, I bet you can find them almost anywhere. These are just tiny little UV lights. I just plug them in and use a timer. You plug them in, exposure unit turns on, and exposes your image. So usually with this setup, with this setup it takes about uh, about a minute 15 to a minute and a half to expose my screen. And I'm also doubling these up. There's actually two pieces of acetate that I've printed. That way it gives me a better negative. Next we'll coat these up and expose them. Hey, the screen's ready. Looks pretty nice. And this head's a little better. Put this on here. Okay. So those will be reversed. But that's what it looked like when I print them. Okay, put this on. Put on some weight. Okay. And we'll plug this in. this to go about a minute 20. looks good. Pretty nice. Losing some of the detail in the rope, but that's just my file. Was, didn't leave enough space there. You need a little more, especially when you don't have a vacuum system, vacuum exposure unit. But this will print pretty nicely. Now we'll let it dry. High tech drying system. Okay, got my glass printing, cylinder printing machine set up. Now, this part broke because it's wood, so I re 
fix it with this. But check this out. This is really funny. I think. So this is my <laughs> amazing setup. I've I had to raise this end because the taper of the glass. I had to set it flat. It's not flat perfectly, but it's pretty good. So I raise it up with a spatula. And I keep it locked in on this side here. And then I've got a paintbrush rigged up here. Works pretty good. And we've got my glasses. So let's start mixing some ink. So this is my ink. HBLX, whatever that means, it's for glass. And it has a hardener, so I'd assume it's an epoxy. I'm not sure though. I measure it by weight. Okay, so I'm gonna do 10 grams, and this is 15%, so 1.5 grams of the hardener. Actually, probably could get away with five, do five grams. And mix this up. but not perfect. Luckily, I can just wipe it away at this point. I think what I can do is just keep going here. That's better. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I think we'll keep that one. Okay. Kind of thinking I didn't make enough ink. Okay, we're back. So my battery went dead. Since then, I think I got it figured out. The screen likes to be flooded more, and it also likes. Uh, so, so I have more ink, so I basically mixed up five grams more ink, and now it seems to be working much better. Okay, I like that. Good detail, and much easier now that it's loaded up with more ink. So I'm going to print a few of these and see how it goes. They all look pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do the toilet paper stand. So I've got my, my cups all printed. I think they look pretty nice. Still mess up the graphic a little, but pretty good for now. Got these extra cups. I think I'll do some for my friends.
Okay, there we go. Printed my logo and surprise for my friends, their logo. Even did some double logo. Can't see. Andrew Crooks Art on one side, Kewell and Layton, my studio mates on the other side. So, as you can see, has excellent, can't see, <laughs> has excellent detail. This ink is good for the dishwasher. Um, it also can be in boiling water for two hours or something. You can scratch it with your fingernail and it won't come off. But you can scrape it with a knife and it will come off. So it's really durable, but if you want to change these, it's pretty nice um, if you want to do that in the future. So pretty cool. You can see it did 25 glasses with a few misprints, but easy to wipe away. This was my first time printing glasses, so I have to get used to it. And I kind of need to rig up the machine a little differently um, so that it doesn't dig in on the side and that the blade, the squeegee blade sits flat. But other than that, looks pretty good. Um, despite having uh, the rig be a toilet paper holder, um, a paintbrush, and a squeegee holding the, the glasses in place, it worked pretty well, even with that. So, yeah, hopefully more, more printing to come in the future. All right, see you guys later.